guys, Kurt Haas here from Hostile Training Gear. Today I'm going to shoot a little video with you guys talking about how to use the wrist wrap and how to set them up properly. Uh, we sell 12 inch, 24, and we have some 36 inch wrist wraps, but the ones that we'll use the most will be the 24 inch wraps. Um, when guys come in or call me or email me, ask me what wrist wrap would length to work with, I always recommend the 24 inch wrist wrap for the guys, simply because as guys we have bigger wrists, some of us have bigger wrists than others, but as a whole, you know, the, the male wrist is going to be bigger than the female wrist. So the 24 is the way I like to go because I want to make sure that we're able to wrap it often enough to create enough torque, right, enough stabilization and tightness, but also to make sure that the wrist wrap itself sits on itself properly, stays tight and, and stays... Uh, you know, it keeps the integrity so you don't have to worry about your wrist wraps coming undone while you're doing your pressing and such. So the first thing you're going to do when you open up your wrist wrap is you're going to take it out like this, get your thumb loop into it, and then you're going to have it so the wrist wrap starts falling down by the bottom of the wrist. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring it over and then you're going to tighten it up a little bit. Just a little bit, just sort of line it up where you want it on the wrist. Some federations you're allowed higher, some federations you're not. So figure out where you want it and sort of do your first pull that way. I'll put it against my belly to reach it again. And then when I go to load it, to wrap it again, I do what I call a load. And what I do with a load is I'm pulling up with the wrist wrap as I pull down with the wrist that I'm wrapping away, something like this, to create the tension, make it tighter, and then wrap it. Then I'll do it again, grab it, pull away, and pull at the same time to really build up the tightness that I want in the wrist wrap. And then what's really important is that, again, this is why I use a 24-inch wrist wrap, I've got lots of the band going onto the Velcro strap here. And then when I put it on, I'll make sure to work it in there. If you just place it on there, it's going to come undone. You need to dig it in there, have the Velcros attach and get in there, and you'll hear it as it connects and stuff. Very, very important. And then what happens is you'll take your thumb loop out and have your wrist. So there's a little bit of play, but lots of stabilization. What's important here, what's cool about the Convex, is the one I'm demonstrating right now, is that there's a lot of range. You can go much tighter, you can go much lighter, depending on what's going on, how heavy you're going that day, how your wrists feel, that kind of thing, and some personal preference. Again, once you're done your set, you know, as you can see, this is hard. I have to actually pull hard to get this off, so that means there was no chance it was going to come off during, and then I'll relax. And then when usually I'm in between reps or sets, I'll wrap it loosely so it stays on my wrist, so that when it's time to wrap up again, I'm not fumbling with it, I'm not trying to remember how I put it on my thumb, I'm ready to go. So then I would grab my second one here, and there's nothing nicer than a fresh wrap out of the box, nice and tight. Lots of kinetic energy in there. As you see, lots of pulling. Get my thumb in there, have it drop so it's by the wrist, wrap it up once, and then just again, having it on there loosely, but roughly where I want it. So what's nice now is that in between, it keeps my wrist warm and all that cool things like that, but it's just gonna be ready for, easier for me to prepare and get ready for the next set. So go time, I'm gonna uncoil the, uh, undo the uh, Velcro, I'm gonna unroll it just a little bit, and then pull, right? Now, if I want lots more tension, I pull on it more. The cool thing about the Convex is there's a lot of potential in there, right here. So it's as hard as you pull, as much load as you put on. Then I'll wrap it, get it against my belly, pull out, wrap some more, pull out, wrap some more, and then really get that Velcro in there. So again, as you can see, I've got three or four, at least three times around, I've got big wrists, so at least three times around for me. If you have a smaller wrist, you'll get four times, you get more back pressure, more backstop. As you can see, from the first time I put this one on to this time, I pulled on it more, so I've got what I call probably about 75% of the potential of the wrist wrap used in there. So more dialed in, more strength, I could feel it pulling a little harder to open up my hand, which is good, that means I'm instinctively gonna grab the bar tighter, so I'm gonna have better torque and involve the triceps in there much more. Now, in a competition, I actually have someone wrist wrap, or wrap my wrist for me so that they make it as tight as possible. And it gets kind of excruciating to the point where you want to make sure that you, get to, you don't do it too soon so you can get on the bar and get it done. And a lot of times after a heavy attempt, the first thing on my mind once I sit up is get these wrist wraps off. But obviously it was pretty tight. The other trick I like to show people is that when they set up on their wrist wraps is that they work on engaging the triceps. Very important. And to do that, once you have your thumb move through, close your fist and make a tight, angry fist. And when you do that, don't just close your fist. Squeeze your triceps and your forearms at the same time, nice and tight, as you wrap. And what's going to happen is it locks in the triceps a lot more. So you're going to get a lot tighter grip. You're going to get a lot better access to that tricep power. And you go in there. And again, when you go to open up, as I'm opening up, I actually feel the strain through my forearms and my tricep as I try to open up. I actually, you know, if I leave my hand loose, it's instantly closing. Right? I actually have to force to open my hand up. So what that means, see as soon as I relax, it snaps close. 
I've got that much more involvement. My forearms are engaged, my triceps are that much more engaged, so when I get under the bar, I'm going to squeeze even tighter, and I'm going to have more power on the drive and on the lockout. So very, very important. And again, so like I said for guys, work with a minimum of the 24, and when you're lining it up, when you're putting it on there and you've got a good stretch, make sure you're stretching the last little bit enough so that when you come around, this tab is all on the Velcro space. See, a lot more real estate covered, right, that kind of stuff. If I have just a little bit of the Velcro on like this and I don't put on very tight, everything loosens up, it's not as secure. So again, the whole point of wrist wraps is to have it on tight. So take full advantage of it, wrap it, pull it, lay it in there. As you can see, I'm covering as much of the Velcro area as possible. I've ridden my thumb down it a couple times and really push it in there. That thing's not coming out. There's no way. With the convicts and the strangulators, you set them up properly like that, they are not coming undone, all right? If they're coming undone, you're not wrapping it properly, all right? And like I said, as soon as you're done, you're going to want to unwrap it, loosen up, and then keep them on softly so that they're ready to go at the moment's notice and you're not wasting a lot of time undoing and doing them overall. Same thing applies if you're using the strangulators, if you're using the 36 inches. The reason why we carry the 12 inch is typically for the younger people with smaller wrists or the ladies who have a smaller wrist so that they can get enough revolutions of the wraparound and have lots of support. Again, if you're using a 12 inch as a guy, you're not going to get enough revolutions to make a big difference in your grip and you're not going to get full advantage of the tightness or set the Velcro up properly. So I know sometimes guys want to buy the 12 because they save a few bucks, but you know what? You're going to pay for it in the end by having more of a limited performance. So that being said, dudes, hit the 24 and the 36, girls, the 12, and again, even for some of the girls too that are getting really into it, I'll push them to the 24s, okay? So that's basically always been the difference for me for the 12 and the 24, is 24 for the guys, 12 for the girls overall, and again, set it up properly, practice with it. When you first start using wrist wraps, it's gonna change your groove a bit, so don't go day one on your first set of wrist wraps trying to bench 400 pounds because that grooves off. Start with a little bit lighter, get used to the feel, get used to the improvement in the mechanics, learn to use it, and again, learn to wrap. You know, the first time you wrap, you're not necessarily gonna get it the way you want. It's gonna take practice by using it over and over and over again. The other thing is I tell guys, don't use your wrist wraps on your warm-ups. Again, build your strength, build the tendons and ligaments in your wrist, build the forearms up, have them get involved. It's when you get to your medium to heavy, medium to light to heavy attempts or high reps, use your wrist wraps more for the support so that you can get better mechanics, better drive. And if you put that wrist wrap on tight and learn how to use it properly, you'll put 20 to 25 pounds on your bench right away. Just have to get used to it. This is Kurt Haas from Hostile Training Gear saying, crush it.